Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Deal creative team, and I have a very simple idea to share with you today. I am a simple stamper. I love to make a quick project that has a wow factor, but that doesn't require a lot of time or effort or talent because I just don't really have a lot of those things. I love when we get a new designer series paper pack that has scenic designs in it. We have this new one called Meandering Meadow. Um, this is an online exclusive de designer series paper and it comes in six by six and it has these beautiful scenes on one side of meadows that are watercolored. They have such pretty colors in them but they're so beautiful. This is the hardest part of this kind of designer series paper is you don't wanna cut it up and ruin the scene because they're just so pretty. So when I saw this paper, I wanted to make a card that featured the designer series paper, which is right up my alley. I wanted to let the DSP do the work for me. So I came up with this card idea, let me show you, where I, use the entire piece of the six inch by six inch designer series paper with very minimal stamping and I just let that beautiful image do the work. The nice thing about our designer series paper is that it's double sided. So on the inside of my card, you get this beautiful coordinating watercolor look without doing the work. You just let the DSP sing. So let me show you how I made this and give you a couple other ideas and tips along the way. I'm gonna start with this piece of the Meandering Meadow Designer Series paper. I'm gonna pull in my trimmer, and I'm gonna cut this piece down to five and a half inches, so it's like the size, it's the size for my card. I'm just gonna trim it off of the bottom because I want that beautiful scenic color at the top. So it doesn't matter where you cut it from, um, as long as it's the top or the bottom for this idea. I just liked having the darker one. Okay, so first cut it off to five and a half, and then I'm gonna turn it, and I'm going to score this piece at one and five eighths inch. So just a little over one and a half. I'm gonna do it on the left hand side of my paper. So I'm gonna score that, and that's going to be the front of our card. I also need to trim this little leftover piece because I wanna use this on the card as well and I'm gonna trim it to three and three quarters. And then I'm gonna have this little piece that I'm also gonna use. So we'll set those aside for now. Also for this card, I have a piece of fresh freesia that is four and a quarter by five and a half. This is gonna serve as the base of my card. I have a piece of basic white that's gonna go on the inside of my card that's three and three quarters by five inches. And then I have a little piece just for my sentiment. So whatever sentiment you're using. I'm using this stamp set, hope you know. This is from our annual catalog. I found this stamp set recently. It's new this year, but I haven't really paid attention to it the last few months. This is an amazing sentiment stamp set. It's got a nice front um, sentiment that you can use and then a great one to use on the inside of your card so that you don't have to write as much. <laughs> That's what I use them for. Um, but let me show you what I'm gonna do with this. So let's put our card together. Really simple, we're gonna take this little three and three quarter inch piece by half inch that was left over from our designer series paper. I'm just gonna add a little bit of adhesive onto that and I'm gonna adhere that onto my basic white piece, just across the bottom, just a little strip there. And then I'm gonna put that on my card base, just center that, just like that. Now let's add with Highland Heather, I liked it a little bit darker than the Fresh Freesia, so I'm gonna add the sentiment on the inside, and just stamp that, and then we'll create our card here. So we're gonna fold on our score line, right there. Now to adhere this, this is the best way I've found that I like the best to make sure that it is even with the card front because I want that not to hang over at all. I don't like it when it does. So I'm gonna take my card base right here that I've already created and stamped and put together. I'm gonna lay it right here on my designer series paper and line it up. And then I'm gonna take and put adhesive all down that. 
and then I'm gonna take it and just press it over. So you do have a little bit of the overhang that looks almost like a book jacket. I like it. I think it just wraps the DSP around and keeps showing it off. And then we've got our card front here, just like that. So this paper coordinates with the inside, but it's not exactly lined up, which I like that contrast. It looks like I worked really hard on this card so far. Then I'm gonna finish off the front of my card just very simply. I'm gonna stamp wishing you comfort on just a little piece of basic white. And then I'm just gonna trim that just to give it a little banner edge. Okay, and then I am going to take my little piece, my small piece, I think this is like two and a quarter by a half inch left over from that DSP and I'm just gonna pop it behind just to give it a little bit more of a contrast when I add it there. The nice thing is it coordinates because it goes with the colors in the paper, but it's not exactly the same. So it kind of pulls that interest. So let me just add that on. I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the back there, just to add that and have it come out kind of part way. And then I'll add that with some dimensionals and pop it up. I'm gonna put it on the darker part because I like the contrast of that purple watercolor there, just like that. And then I'm gonna take a bow. I wanna tie a bow and I wanna do this a double bow. This is kind of a fun technique. I'm just using our linen thread and I'm gonna take and just double it here. You could trim it right here at this point if you want to. I like to, it makes it easier for me. So I've just got two long pieces and then you're just gonna tie a bow with both. Now, if it gets away from you and you can't keep them together, just don't cut it yet. Leave them together. Tie a big, cute, floppy bow. I just love that. It adds a lot of interest to your card, again, without too much work. It kind of gives a lot of loops. It's kind of fun. Add that on with a glue dot. Just to the corner here of your sentiment. And then we will add just some little coordinating pearls. These colors worked really well with this paper. This is the Blooming Pearls. They're kind of iridescent, so they cover all of the different colors that are in the paper. And there you have it. Just a really simple card where you let the DSP do the work for you. Let me show you a couple of other ideas that I came up with using the same meandering meadow designer series paper. Here's this one. I went with a little brighter because I liked the pink in the sky and the flowers. I used that same stamp set, the Hope You Know stamp set. So hello friend, and you are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days. I thought that that saying went really well with this paper. And then here's Truly Deeply Grateful and the inside. It's a little bit darker on the inside, so I went with um, Night of Navy for the base, and I thought that was a good contrast with it as well. I hope I've inspired you to look through your collection of designer series paper that you already own, or look on our website at Stampin' Up! and find some new paper to create these easy cards with and let the designer series paper do the work. If you are interested in any of these products I've used today, please check the description of the video below. The links will be there for you. And thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.